basically, um, during the first evaluations of the site and the following test pitch, they came across a lithic, a lithic scatter being napped flint, struck flint, prehistoric struck flint. They we're talking 14 odd thousand years ago, anywhere between 14 and 12,000 years ago. And um, this is particularly interesting because most of the time we find it in caves or in very disturbed environments, whereas here it's a very fine sand deposit and therefore it's quite a pristine, what we call in situ, it hasn't moved much. And we can actually excavate the scatters, how they took place in the past. And um, the, the actual material that's coming out is fresh. It looks as if it came out yesterday, it was struck yesterday. So we could follow the gestures, the, um, the, the, the processes that are taking place during the actual mapping episodes. Um, what is wonderful is that we actually have a, a, quite a, an extensive area. And uh, we're starting to identify certain loci or certain locations where there are higher concentrations of, of lithic stepitage. What we call stepitage is the napping, is the actual gesture and um, the whole event of producing certain tools. And um, through these concentrations, hopefully, the fu um, future research and work on the material will give us more insight into these periods, these post glacial, but just before our era, the Holocene, so just following the glacial maximum, and just before our how they, their behaviors and how they used to live and then and, and, and the techniques and methods they use to produce tools. And that's, this, this is quite exceptional. And in Europe, there are, there are a handful of sites, um, not very many. Um, and and uh, in England, well, there are, this is one amongst two, maybe three, if that. And, um, of this quality, I think it's quite unique. So that's what makes it really extraordinary.